First, we draw the circuit. So now, basically, if it is given, it's a very simple circuit. Just try to go with a simple circuit. This is the one ohm resistance, so now it considered three ohm. It's a four ohm. It's a this one, and uh, this one is the seven ohm. <coughs> um, so here, uh, just consider this uh, ten volt supply is given and the five volt supply is given. The question is, you have to solve this problem with the help of the node analysis. And uh, here you see we have the two nodes, and all these points nodes are uh, uh, connected just with a wire. So that means you can consider it's a zero node or the common node. So you put uh, there is only one node, the A and B we consider. Then you consider the current direction. Current direction that should be your choice. That is the I1, I2, I3, I4. Before going to start uh, the node analysis, we should know the basic parameters. That is, suppose this is the resistance, and that point is A, and that point is B, and the current is flowing here I. This is not related to this one because A and B already mentioned here. Though they are, they also I also mentioned here A and B points. Now I. Then uh, the voltage point for this one is VA, and that one is the VB. So if you consider and uh, consider the resistance is R here. So your VA A minus uh, VB divided by R that is equal to I. Why this one? Because VA is greater than so the higher potential the current is flowing from the higher potential to lower potential. That's why this one. Okay, so you have to make VA minus VB divided by this resistance that will get you I. So this formula is very very important to solve this node analysis. Now I just going to show you here how you can do this one. For the node A, A terminal, you will get one equation, and the B terminal, node B terminal, you will get the another equation. So uh, just apply KCL in node A. So what you will get? You are getting the current entering is the I1, that is equal to I3 plus I2. And again here for the node B you are getting the same case here you apply I3 that is equal to I4 plus I5 so comes to the first equation I1 I1 you see and for the I1 the higher potential is the 10 volt 10 volt minus VA potential divided by the resistance is the 1 ohm resistance now it comes to the I3 this is I3, the terminal is the VA is the higher potential minus VB divided by uh, the 4 ohm resistance. Okay, now comes to the I2. I2 is the VA potential minus 0 volt because it's the ground 0 volt divided by the 3. So you will get the equation number 1, and now comes for the uh, second equation for the node B. Node B terminal is the I3 is the same terminal. so VA minus VB uh, divided by 4 that is equal to I4 equal to VB divided by we consider this way that is if you just consider it again then I can say 4 uh, no 7 we can say 7 7 ohm resistance just for understanding 7 plus I5 stand for uh, this ohm resistance so this is uh, VB minus 5 volt divided by the 7 ohm resistance. So that you will get the two equation. Just solve the two equation automatically you will get the answer. So what you will get from the answer, you will get the answer for the VA. How much? VB, how much? Once you get the VA and VB, you will automatically just apply in this formula. Just I just want to know how much the current uh, is I2 because you already know V and VB. So I2 is equal to V 
ca minus 0 uh, divided by 3 so you will get the answer now suppose i am looking for uh, i5 so i5 equal to vv minus uh, 5 volt divided by 7 so like this you will get the answer so this is a very easy to solve in the noter analysis just process uh, you have to um, do like the same process so that uh, it will be very easy for you in the end.